Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the presentation. I'm Harun Babu Mwenda, a developer relation engineer at MFS Africa. I'm a software engineer, developer relation engineer, a speaker and a machine learning researcher with an interest of helping people to learn, understand and use machine learning and artificial intelligence the right way, effectively and efficiently. So on today's presentation, I'm going to talk about network attack detection methods based on deep learning. Uh, this is a campaign that we should be all having when you're talking about artificial intelligence for everyone. So let's get down to it and start with my present. Uh, to my presentation. So here, uh, this is a brief introduction that I have to my presentation and uh, okay, I'll start. So with the continuous development of computer network technology, the security problem in network uh, in the network are emerging one after the other and hence new threats and challenges have emerged to the wireless communication system, especially in cybersecurity. And it is becoming more and more difficult to ignore this problem. So for the current network administrator, how to successfully prevent malicious network hackers from invading uh, so that the network system and computers are safe and normal operation is an urgent task. Uh, with the re recent vast amount of jet, uh, data being generated every day, we have, uh, we have an access to extensible data set uh, to run from and tackle of sophisticated attackers who are easily, uh, who can easily bypass difficult uh, basic intrusion detection systems and this is where the deep running comes into play during this presentation we will discover uh, how we can use deep running to detect network attacks so but first let's understand the network attacks and deep learning as a different domain so getting uh, deep to understanding the deep learning so what's deep what is deep learning deep learning is a machine learning technique that teaches computer to do what comes naturally to human being and that is running by example deep learning is a key technology behind driverless uh, cars enabling them to recognize important traffic signs it is the key to voice control uh, customer devices like tablets that we use every day laptops and mobile phones and currently it is becoming a key technology in network attack detection where we are applying deep learning to detect any attack in uh, our networks so using deep learning we can detect uh, an irregular pattern that can uh, that may be caused by malicious softwares in our in the user's device let's say a laptop and be able to detect clean or recover the system from the malicious software. So we are able to detect the the uh, the activities of the malicious uh, software hardly enough so that at least we can be able to prevent it or we can be able to recover the soft, uh, the system that is being attacked by the, uh, the malicious software. So imagine of a use case where an attacker is using a brute force attack and where they are trying to submit many uh, passphrases uh, with hopes of eventually guessing the password correctly. We can analyze, uh, we can analyze the uh, closeness of the correct uh, password and the passphrases being submitted and uh, enhance more security measures like asking for the secret names that the user submitted by creating, uh, let's say, the user account to identify if the person or the system, uh, e.g. the bot systems, uh, are trying to log in uh, is the legitimate owner of the account. So in this case, we are able to analyze the, the inputs that are being uh, that are being submitted by the user, let's say the password, the username said you are trying to get, is that uh, password or the username that they are trying to submit close to the correct person that they used when they are registering for the account. If we see it's something that is totally different now, you're in a position to ask them to provide additional details. Uh, this may include the secret names that they used so that we can at least be in a position to identify if the person who is trying to log in is the legitimate user of the account. Now, uh, I hope everyone have to now understand the deep learning and knows how it works. So let's get to network attacks and it, uh, attack and try to understand what network attack is. 
So network attacks as defined by the first point, uh, first point is a learning platform, uh, unauthorized actions on the digital asset within an organization network. Here, malicious parties usually execute network attacks to alter this state data where the perpetrator in the network uh, tends to target network perimeters to gain access uh, to the internet system. So uh, basically you can uh, view network attacks as all the activities or unauthorized actions on any digital asset within an organization network, let's say your workplace. And here the malicious parties, the people who are trying to work or attack your network, uh, usually execute network attacks to alter, or destroy or steal data. Where the perpetrator, the person who is attacking your system uh, in the network attack tends to target network perimeters to gain access to the internal system. Uh, there are two network attacks that we have. Uh, we have the passive network attack where the malicious party gains unauthorized access to the network monitors and steals private data without making any alteration. So it is very difficult to, uh, to realize that there was a passive network in your in organization and then we have uh, we because this person in the passive uh, network attack the perpetrators doesn't do anything that will make you realize the only steals or views your data it goes away without your notice but when we come to the active network attack uh, this involves modification and encryption or damaging of data so here the attacker a network maybe against uh, the password for your network and tries to change it. So you are in, they do some modification and encryption of the data or they even damage your data. So by the time you are trying to access the network or do anything in their system, now you meet you are locked out. This is active network attack and here now you are able to detect that the person attacked you because you can see there is some changes in your system. Then we have some uh, some of the common methods which we use or we apply to protect the network includes use of the antivirus softwares, use of the firewall intrusion, uh, firewalls, uh, intrusion detecting uh, systems, then information technology policies. We can also use information technology policies. We can also use encryption. We can also en ensuring every device in a network is capable of restricting access using the passwords and detecting the attacker early using the machine learning and deep learning techniques. Uh, uh, we, are deep, uh, we are detecting the attack early using deep learning techniques is our topic today. So let us ask ourselves, why should we even think of using deep learning techniques to detect a network attack? So here we have the reason or have come up with a simple reason, which I think it's one of the core reasons that we should uh, think, or we should be even think, think about applying deep learning into network attack and to be able uh, to be in a position to detect or to avoid the attack as early as possible. So nowadays, uh, okay, I think it is uh, ev ev evidence, like evident, like everyone can see that deep learning is destructuring, uh, disrupting every uh, domain in the in the tech and uh, every business that we do today. So nowadays deep learning has dominated the various fields and it is disrupting the way we used to do many things, especially with the current recent breakthrough in the artificial general intelligence. Not only do these deep learning techniques enable, uh, enable rapid progress in every field that they applied, but even surpassing human performance in many uh, uh, in many of these uh, fields that they applied. When you talk about artificial general intelligence, artificial general intelligence is on par with human capabilities. They can do what human can do. That is artificial intel uh, general intelligence system can perform and perform, sorry, artificial, that is artificial general intelligence system can perform any task that human can uh, can do with greater effort, efficacy than human can in several activities. And you have seen a lot of application in the, of deep learning in any field. Whenever 
in any field that artificial uh, intelligence is applied, especially the advanced level, which is artificial general intelligence. Now, especially uh, we can look at agriculture, network detection, any field that is this applied. Now you can see there is a high efficiency, like the way they do things is more better or far better than human would do. So one of the these tasks is image classification or even a pattern recognition. So let's talk about uh, maybe a uh, pattern recognition now. That is one of the field, like we are trying to see is the system operating the way it used to operate uh, in other days. So you go, you collect the data and you try to analyze so that you have how the system should be operating or how normally a system should be operating. So by the time you see any changes, now you try to check what has changed or what is causing all this. And now there is where you'll be in a position to detect if there was an attack in your system or not. So unlike more traditional methods of machine learning techniques, now you have deep learning uh, classifiers are trained through feature learning rather than the task specific algorithm. So we don't give them a specific task that they should perform. We are giving them lot of features which they can learn from and be able to maybe if it was for a pattern recognition they can do better than the way human eyes would do and what this means is that machines will learn patterns in the uh, image that is presented with rather than recurring the human operator to define the pattern that the machine uh, should look for in the image in short it can automatically extract features and classify data into various classes. So that is why, or that is the importance of applying deep learning in network and uh, network detection or any other field that we have. Now, uh, I'll briefly talk about a use case that I have. And this use case is um, about how we can protect our crowd network from any attack. And now talking about this issue, um, it is one of the okay major fields that maybe the network attack, uh, attack using deep planning should be applied because almost every field that we have, every maybe business that is starting, every startup is moving their infrastructure, their systems into the cloud computing. So I think cloud computing can be one of the best fields that you should be talking about when you are looking at how we can use uh, deep learning to detect the any attack in our network. So when trying to detect uh, crowd network attacks, um, you first should start by understanding the problem, then follow the following step. Like the first thing that you should have in your mind when you're trying to, uh, okay, you're trying to investigate or to detect if there is any crowd uh, network attack that can, uh, can occur. Maybe you want to detect that as ever, as a network attack ever occurred in, uh, networks, uh, crowd system, or you're trying to have a system that detects any network attack in your crowd system. So that are the two ways that I have in mind right now. And that is what I mean by you should first understand uh, the problem is it to predict future occurrence of network attack in your crowd system, or is it a system that will uh, will investigate if there was a network attack in your system. So uh, after understanding the problem, now you should start the process of the deep learning process. And in a deep learning process after understanding the domain problem, uh, the domain problem that is the now for our case, the crowd network attack that we are trying to work on, we can start with collecting the cloud data, uh, network data set that is available. There are two so uh, great sources of cloud network uh, data set. The first one that you can try looking at is the cargo. You can you can get, uh, you can just uh, research and uh, go to cargo.com where you'll get vast amount of data in any domain. And there are a lot of data sets which is available on cargo about the network attack. So you can try to use the data set and try maybe you can use it as the source of the data set, uh, source of the data. Uh, another source of data that you can have maybe is you can, uh, you can scrub or crawl in a website that is available that provides data. 
about the network data uh, attack the, about the network statistics maybe how it works and all of you that we have in the all the activities that you have in cloud computing after that now you have your data set ready the second step that you should follow is to clean your data and perform feature engineering so the second step always is uh we say garbage in garbage out so the be the better your data set is the better the results that you have in at the end so make sure that you have cleaned your data well and perform feature engineering uh by feature engineering is where you're talking about having columns that make sense like maybe you're trying to investigate uh a network attack in the cloud uh system uh there are some features which don't matter so those are the features that you try to eliminate and remain with the features that matters to you. Then after that, you choose the deep learning models, the, uh, the, mod, the deep learning model that you have to use. The common one is the current neural network. You can also use deep neural uh, network. You can also use the gray of optimization. You can also use the convolutional neural networks if the data set that you're trying to use is image. That is when you choose uh, models like convolutional neural networks. And these uh, recurrent neural network, deep neural network, gray of optimization, and convolutional neural networks are the major deep learning models that we use in our day to day activity to investigate or to work with any, um, okay, to work with any project that we are trying to detect network attack. These are the most applied. If you look for any project that was done, any research that was done earlier, you meet almost all the project as have applied these models that I'm talking about. Then after you choose your model and you build your model, the second thing will be to build your model and test the performance of our model and optimize the result after testing and getting the results. So after you have chosen the model that you are working with, the second, uh, the other thing that should follow is to build your model or to train your model. After training a bon model, now you come and try to test the performance of our model. And after testing our performance, uh, after testing the performance of our model, now you move to the process of if the results that we get from testing our model are not correct, now we embark to the process of optimizing our results. And after optimizing our results and you are pleased by the results that you get, now we move to this, uh, the other step where we are deploying uh, the best performing model in our network. Uh, by me, by best performing model, I mean where you're trying to use maybe more than the uh, two models that I provided earlier, the recurrent neural network and deep neural network. Uh, you choose from the list, you use different models that we have there, and you try to test which will give you the best uh, result. After you get the result, now you optimize the results. After optimizing the result, now you are moving to the next step where you are trying to deploy the model now into a system. Like if you it was a local system. Now, for this case, I'm talking about the cloud uh, cloud system or cloud computing system. Now, you're trying to deploy the best performing model into our system. And now with that, we have deployed our Watchman and Bravo. We now have our network Batman. We have someone with uh, a system that is protecting our network. Mm -hmm. So if there was a case, we'll have, if there was a trial for a network attack, we'll have, we'll be informed earlier, or we have a protect, we'll apply any protective measure that we I discussed earlier to protect our network. And one of the best thing to remember, or one of the most important thing to remember in all this process is that always remember that it is very important to understand the detection framework. And by detection framework, I mean the approach that you are using to detect the network attack. And enough of learning now, you should be in a position to go and try all the things that I've talked about. And now, if you're willing to connect with me, there are my Twitter handle here and my LinkedIn profile, uh, the bio to my LinkedIn profile provided in Instagram and the two of the communities that, the major communities that I learned, Lux Academy and Data Sciences Africa. Thank you, everyone. I hope you are enjoying Dev, uh, Cisco DevNet Create 2021.